Zero two hundred. How are you? Uh, Doc Walsh here, and it's Friday, March twentieth, and uh, your spring break is coming to an end. And um, uh, the point of this video is to give you a little heads up um, in terms of how to put together your next little short paper. It's two to four pages long. Your second critical thinking assignment. Um, the uh, analysis that you're going to be doing is actually very topical what's going on in the world and um and, and it's, it's just about the costs and and, and uh, older people and medicare and so what we're going to do is before i get into that um i just want to let you know that uh, that i am a connection to usc for all of you i am uh, a voice um and i have been tried tried to be totally honest uh, from the get-go about um the risk of this virus and so um, I can continue to be your conscience and your voice and your, your um, backup on everything. And um, so it's really important. Uh, remember last week we talked about caregiving um, and you guys were doing the discussion on caregiving. So, um, so right now uh, at home, uh, you guys are in the throes of caregiving. You have parents, you have grandparents, you have siblings. And everybody's got to be responsible. Um, you know, you can't really go out and hang with your buddies. Um, uh, it's important to, you know, keep this distance. And, and um, however, there are going to times where you do have to go out and you know, things like you need groceries, you know. And so you, you need to um, maybe step up and volunteer for your parents and grandparents. Um, uh, if you're living in the same household, just say, look, I, look you don't need to go, I'll, I'll take care of this. And then when you go out there, um, you keep your distance, you keep your caution, and you wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. You, you enter the house um, and uh, be very careful putting everything away, uh, wipe everything down um, after your entry. Wipe down your car. It, it's it's um it's all precaution and and because you just need one little virus. And uh, you know, last time I talked in my last video about how the virus works. You know, it gets in and it will pirate the cells that line your lungs, and um and it takes them over. And instead of being cells that will sit there and absorb oxygen so you can breathe. It turns them into little factories for making brand new virus particles. And then when you cough, they explode out into the world. Um, and sadly, because those cells are now uh, factories for making viruses, um, they do die off. Okay, they'll disinfect the next neighboring cell that was formerly there to to um, to help you breathe in oxygen and stick it into your blood. And um, and consequently. The surface of your lungs, the area that is used for absorbing oxygen, is getting smaller and smaller and smaller um, when you have a really bad case of this virus. So you'll see a tightness in your chest. You feel like you can't catch your breath. And this is why people are going on ventilators, because the ventilators will push um, a really high level of oxygen, much higher than is in the air, into the lungs so that the cells that are remaining get a high dose of oxygen and get it into your blood because it's all about getting oxygen into the blood. Okay, so um, so you can educate your parents, show your parents this video. Okay, uh, the, the next thing you got to do is this during this time, um, you need to take care of yourself. And what you all should realize is by being in this class with me, by being a USC student, you guys are, are at the top of the top. You guys are brilliant. So continue to show your brilliance. Um, and there's lots of different ways. Um, a lot of you, you know, this class is not necessarily your wheelhouse, but something is. But nonetheless, you, you're doing really well in this class, every one of you. And so to keep reading, um, information is king. Information is power. Um, uh, data is king in interpreting data is called intuition and insight, all right? So um, so just get in there and, and keep applying yourself, applying yourself, right? Now, let's think about um, the diversity of, of majors that we have in this class, okay? So, um, you know, I used to love basketball. I was a basketball player. If I was a basketball player, okay, if I was on USC basketball team, what I would do right now is I would 
um, get my basketball that I have, okay, I would um, figuratively tie, maybe, maybe you're a, a right-handed player, I would tie that right hand behind your back and for the next week, shoot baskets, dribble, do everything with your left hand, you know, pretend like it is down to the wire, okay? Um, pretend like you're having this full court press on you and you, you're gonna beat the press the way Magic Johnson did, not the way we played against Arizona State, okay? You are gonna be prepared, okay? Keeping your eyes up, okay? Perfect your game, perfect your game, okay? This is a chance to shine, okay? Not to sulk. All right, what else do we have, okay? So um, a lot of you are business majors, you know? Your wheels have to be spinning right now, okay? You know, the stock market is um, having a, a real tough time, okay? So a lot of different companies are suffering. A lot of companies are going to crash and burn, but you need to be insightful and ask yourself, what companies are going to be um, a good buy? Um, what companies need to be developed right now, okay? Um, you know, off the top of my head, there was mention of this drug Plaquenil. It is not a cure, okay? It is a, a drug that is used to treat a parasite called malaria, okay? It's serendipitously was found to modulate some viruses. It's not a cure, but I would find out what company is the manufacturer of Plaquenil. There's an investment, okay? Um, how about companies that are developing tests? There is an investment. Um, how about companies that are responsible for generating antibodies? Okay. Um, how about so this is a, a, a treatment. My wife, your instructor, um, uh, Julia, she gets um, a bag of antibodies. Okay. They collect the blood from 20 to 30 to 30,000 people. They spin down the blood. They get rid of the blood cells and give it to surgery patients, and they collect the antibodies and they give it to her in a bag. Okay, and so whatever immunity is around, she's gonna get. So next week, she's going down to more cancer center, or it's cancer center, and gonna get a bag of these antibodies because she has leukemia, she's super vulnerable, and it's been her treatment for a couple of years now. These are all things to think about. What else do we do? How do we generate antibodies? How do we generate an immunity? Okay, you wanna give your immune system a heads up. You get a vaccination, okay? It's pretty straightforward, all right? You get a vaccination, and um, and then what happens is that is a way of alerting. You have a bunch of immune system cells that are lying there waiting for their opportunity, where they specifically have been developed from your bone marrow to attack that kind of um, a critter that gets into your blood, bacteria, virus, whatever it is. And so there's going to be a handful of these guys, um, you know, maybe a hundred or so that, hey, I have the perfect, perfect lock that that key is going to fit into and boom. And so what happens, those hundred cells turn into millions of cells when you get vaccinated. So that way, when the real deal gets into your blood, instead of having a hundred cells trying to figure out what's going on, you already have millions of cells on board that attack it and you don't get sick. That's how vaccinations work. Okay. All righty. So, um, right. Before we get into and in how to do the how to do, it's going to be easy. But I want you guys to show your parents, and I'm going to send you guys this link. How amazing you are in terms of data. So this right here, I'm going to click on it. Boom. All right. So this right here is um, uh, 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 a recent article put forth, and it's updated daily. Okay. Remember, um, world data. I mean, remember CT1. All right. So this is just an offshoot of CT. Uh, the same giant data bank that is manufactured for the world and data is power okay about um in this particular case they're looking at statistics and research in, in terms of uh, COVID-19 the coronavirus okay so get in here scroll down and look at some of the data I've obviously looked at this um so this right here again it's interactive it's it's amazing and we look at um the the doubling rate Okay. All right. And we see how exponential it has been over the last couple of days. You see Mexico, I mean, sorry, China, they started early on. Okay. So things have plateaued. So they're not having, a, it takes 34 days to double. They have a lot more cases. We see down here. Okay. Um, there's a decline in the new confirmed deaths. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So that's a good thing. 
and and by the way, um, um, young people get this disease and die. Okay, so just look it up. There's a guy in LA that just died. He was in his early 30s. Whole families died. There was a story from New York City. Um, a family of 11, um, four people have died. Three people are in critical condition. So uh, it's the real D deal. All right. We see Germany had an exponential jump. Okay. All right. Here's today, March 20th. Okay. So it's the updated daily. All right. And where are where are we in all this? Sorry. All right. There's the UK. Okay. And there's the United States. We had a doubling rate uh, a couple of days ago of two days. All right. So the good news is the double rate has slowed down. All right. And that's because of everything you guys have been doing. Okay. Um, however, we see over here, we're getting um, new confirmed deaths because we're, we're early in the process. So, all righty. So that's part one. Okay. So we can look at um, total deaths uh, due to COVID-19. Okay. You can see how it's accelerating over time. You can add countries. Okay. Like we have done before. All right. With the World Data Bank. All right. Um, um, and same here, same thing here. You can add countries, so you can go in there and and, and take a look at it. Um, this is a, a, a graphical representation using a map. You can go to chart. You know, it just you know you just you're able to do whatever you want. Okay, and again, you get to be interactive with this. So I just for fun, show your parents. Okay, all right, we're gonna scroll down here. Okay, um, this is a test, all right, conducted. Okay. Um, this is a chart right here, okay, looking at the t number of tests that are conducted. And this is why there has been such an outcry that we were a little slow. We were slow, all right? So these are the total, total number of tests con uh, conducted by country. See, China's had 320,000 tests. Think how, how, how on the ball um, uh, South Korea was. Italy, of course, has to be doing it now because it's, it's, it's out of control right there. We look down here. And here we are, we're at 40,000. So we're improving. Um, the other day, we were down here into just a couple thousand. So, but again, we were slow to the draw there. All right, what else we have? Okay, um, I want to scroll down here. Okay, um, this is test per million of people. Again, because um, we have a, hard, a, a large population, um, we're pretty, pretty slow, low down there. Okay, so. Uh, here we are down here. All right. So really, really poor response for a major country. Okay. All right. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you. So this is the interactive uh, doubling rate um, stuff we looked at. Um, I wanted to get in here and explain to you what's going on. This right here. Okay. This is like changing the curve. Everybody's been talking about it. Okay. When you have a peak like this. All right. So this is capacity. The line right here for hospitalization. Once you exceed that capacity. What is happening here, the reason it's up and then it comes right back down is people are dying. So this is all, and so what happens, the virus kills itself off because people can't transmit it. But there's a cost, there's a major cost, okay? If you slow down the infection, it may take longer to get rid of it, but you keep it under control so that people don't die. All right, that's what that's all about. All right, I'm gonna get down here to um, this, which is very hopeful. All right, you see in China, the cases are going down. Okay, all right, next. Scroll down right here. And there. That's the one I wanted to, to look at right here. Okay, sorry. All right, so so what this is, is comparing flu to COVID-19. Okay, right here, we're looking at fatalities. Um, all ages at 0.1%, here it is at 2.3%. This is why it's the real deal. We look at it by age structure and people, young people do die, okay? Obviously people um, older, their immune system is much slower in terms of its doubling rate. Remember I said, you get a vaccination and you go for 100, for, for, to 100 cells to millions of cells. It takes a lot longer. Um, it's just part of the, the fun and games of getting old. All right, so I'm done with that. Um, I want, I'm gonna send this link. I want you guys to show your parents, okay? All right, next. How do we do our next assignment, okay? So show your parents this class, okay? So what you're gonna do here is we're gonna go into critical thinking assignment two. We're gonna click on this, all right? 
Boom. Okay, hopefully you have good internet service. Um, this was CT1. You can show your parents what awesome, awesome data scientist you became after doing CT1. All right, and then we have come down here to CT2. Here's our goals. We're going to look how these things affect personal finances of people over the age of 65, and that's healthcare. This is a huge deal, huge deal. It's on the TV every single day. President Trump has been talking about this every single day about deferring the costs, okay? Because you're going to see here when you get into this assignment that there are big segments of the population that um, the cost of healthcare is crippling, okay? All righty. So these are the goals, the learning objectives, okay? Understand diverse age populations. You're going to do that selectively, okay? By, um, by, by manipulating the data, you get yourselves are going to choose some subgroups and you're going to write about it. All righty. So um, these are the questions, okay? So right here, it spells it out, out-of-pocket expenses. What are the top four? So you can look at this. Obviously, the top one right here is your insurance premium. How much you have to pay every single year to have insurance coverage, okay? After that, then we have a list of different um, care costs, long-term care facilities, okay? So you're in uh, an assisted living facility. You're in um, an extended care facility because you've been sick, whatever it is. Medical private provider supplies, drugs, dental services, these are all costs. Okay. All right. Then um, parts two, three, and four. Um, this is where you're going to address each one of these, and you're going to do a selection of um, the groups that you're going to do in your analysis. And that's what I, I clearly laid this out here. You're going to choose the same two groups in every one of the charts. Right. We're going to go in there in a sec. Here's the interactive chart right here for, for number one. I spell it out how to do it. Okay. All right, so this one right here is how much do Medicare beneficiaries spend out of pocket in total on premiums and services? And you're going to compare groups, okay? And that's the key thing, All right? Number two, okay, right down here, how do how much do Medicare beneficiaries spend out of pocket on different types of health-related services? Okay, you're going to choose groups, okay, and see see how it's second. Women, okay, minorities, whatever it is, you're going to choose uh, certain groups, okay. And lastly, this is the big one. Um, it's the out-of-pocket healthcare costs, okay? And how, how um, on a percentile basis, how different segments of society are impacted, impacted more. Rich people versus poor people, okay? Here's the rubric, all right? So you're all good. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the website. Click on it right there. All right, it's going to take a little while to load. Yeah. Okay. So what we're finding here is um, is obviously uh, if you're a computer scientist, um, the system, the infrastructure was not designed to handle everybody online all at once. So there's going to be some some slowing. Okay. Um, the cables. Okay. We actually have hardwired cables called pipes. Um, you, they need to be bigger. All right. So anyways. All right. So here's the first question. Okay. And I showed that already. Okay. So Top expense, second expense, third expense, fourth expense. So I gave you the answer. All right. Next, okay. You come down here. This is where you select your group. Okay. So um, out-of-pocket healthcare spending by traditional Medicare beneficiaries in 2016. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select a group. Okay. And what group do I want? Okay. I want to do it by. Um, I could do it by gender. Bam. Okay. All right. So we see here. Okay. And we scroll down and we see that um, uh, we see total premiums, total services, and total expenses. Okay, again, this is um, by gender. Okay, so all right, awesome. So we see men, women, and overall. So you can compare and ask yourselves is there a gender difference? Is there a gender inequity? Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize this, make it my Oops, sorry, my face out of the way because I want to be able to um, capture this data in figure form. Okay, so there it is right there. Okay, I can even minimize it even more because I'm uh, I'm accept here. I'm going to accept a cookie policy and I don't have to minimize it. All right, so how do we capture this chart? And you can see how it's interactive and it spells everything out. All right, guys. So this is what you use in your write-up. Okay, you can you have the actual numbers. Okay, all righty. So um, what you do, and you go right over here. Uh, I did a, um, a real quick um, PowerPoint, okay? 
So, um, so uh, if you're using a PC, okay, um, you're using Windows, okay, to do a screen capture, okay, you do the Windows icon, Shift S, and then this this screen will pop up right here, okay, and and then um, you draw the shape that you want, and um, it creates a little snip, and then you it's a copy paste into your document. All right, this is the keystroke right here. The next one, boom, for um, for using a Mac. Okay, all right. So it's it's different, but you get the same exact thing. All right. Okay, so that's how you do that. So let's go back to where we were at. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. I'm going to do Windows Shift S. Okay. And up pops the screen. I want this one right here. Okay. So I'm going to select where I want to go with my cursor. All right, so it's going to go like so, all right, and it's going to go like so, all right, and I have a beautiful figure now, all right, and I can even put that, okay, if I want, but that's good enough, okay, all right, all right, so now um, it has been copied. I'm going to go back into my document that I've created, all right, I'm going to hit paste, and there it is, all right, so it's pretty straightforward, okay, you can put it into your Word file, I just happen to put it into my PowerPoint file, all right. So that's how you do that, okay? So that was gender, all right? I'm gonna go back over here, okay? I'm gonna scroll down to my next analysis, okay? This is, um, this is, uh, this is how, uh, average out of pocket healthcare spending by traditional Medicare beneficiaries based on type of service. So the other one was, what was it? It was um, um, uh, out of, out of, average out of pocket healthcare spending by traditional Medicare beneficiaries in 2016. So that was total, all right? Now we're going to look based on service, okay? All right, I'm going to do the same thing, all right? I'm going to click. I'm going to find my, my uh, gender, boom, all right? And there it is, okay? So, all right, so now we have women, we have men, we have overall, and bing, 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 the numbers come up, okay? All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. What am I going to do? I'm going to do um, uh, uh, Windows icon, Shift, S, okay? I'm going to find um, my, this is automatically the default right here. Okay, you can also do full screen over here, but I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go like so, right? I'm going to go like so. And all right, so it's copied it. I'm going to go back into my, my um, document that I've created here. Okay, I'll create a new slide. I'm going to paste, and there it is. All right, so it's easy, easy peasy. Okay, so that's what you have to do. Then you sit there and interpret it. Okay, you have your numbers, all right? You have your figures. You do the analysis because you guys are awesome data scientists. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, CT2, okay? Don't forget the rubric is down here at the very bottom, okay? And so I'm going to end on a high note, okay? And something that's really beautiful, okay? So again, you have to do what you love, okay? Uh, I mentioned uh, business majors. If you're an Annenberg major, you need to be using your video cam and you need to be rehearsing your telecast. So you're out there somewhere, okay? You should be reporting on this stuff and do millions and millions of these. I'm exaggerating. Do 20, 30, 40 of, 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 of these um, telecasts. If you're an economist, what's going to happen to the world, okay? If you're a business major, I was going back. I had a friend whose daughter was supposed to get married next week. Guess what? The wedding was canceled. I see an opportunity, sadly, down the line where there's going to be a whole new industry that, that is going to erupt for people that will have weddings a year after um, this coronavirus um, epidemic, pandemic, has finally disappeared. People are already, her daughter got married. She went to the Justice Peace just in the time and got married. They had to cancel the plans, but she'll do it again, okay? So there's on and on and on. There are, there are opportunities. Obviously, um, uh, delivery services, huge. Um, and then in terms of this class, for older people, um, you know, we found out that, that we were not prepared to help the most vulnerable population, um, really, in our country, and that's old people. So um, you know, these are all just you know, opportunities. Anyways, okay, let's go here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full screen, okay? And um, I'm going to uh, start this baby again. And uh, let's see what happens. This is 
what I'm doing. Because this is what I love. And you should be doing what you love. Alright? Don't sit around. Okay. Um, you need to get done. And, uh, like, when you come back, and we're all back together again as a society, you are going to be at the top of your game. of you um, are very worried um, and rightly so and um, so um, what I want you to do is um, I'm going to be holding office hours um, I'll be using zoom and you guys can come in and talk to me you can bring your parents as well but we'll, we're going to announce that next week so maybe um, Tuesday Thursday or Friday of next week I'll, I'll be here for two hours and as many of you can come in as you want, bring your parents, we can talk about everything that we're doing. Talk about USC, talk about classes, talk about precautions, um, and um, just talk about your future, okay? All right, guys, uh, so I'm going to end my second there.